An NHS hero has died just months before he was due to get married. Healthcare support worker David Yule, 27, worked at a hospital before volunteering in the COVID jab program. But he tragically passed away from pneumonia on January 19, just two days after being admitted to hospital over an infection. David, from Glasgow, had been living with cystic fibrosis since he was 15, but was said to have been doing well after receiving a new breakthrough medicine. He had been excited about marrying his partner of 10 years, Scott, later this year after previous wedding plans were postponed due to COVID restrictions. David's mom has described him as an NHS hero, image, NHS GGC, SWNS. Healthcare support worker David Yule had been volunteering in the COVID jab program, image, NHS GGC, SWNS. His heartbroken mom, Catherine, said, I am so proud of him, he achieved so much in so little time. He did everything he could to help others, regardless of his. David worked as a healthcare support worker on the older people's wards at Glasgow Royal Infirmary and later as a COVID vaccinator at clinics across the west of Scotland. But his declining health meant he had to reluctantly leave his job. Two years ago his doctors at the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital were able to prescribe Trikafta, a new breakthrough medicine which transformed David's. He joined the COVID vaccine team helping to direct patients at clinics in the area, before getting an opportunity to train as a vaccinator and landing a job at NHS. Catherine said, it gave him a whole new lease of life. He became healthier and he picked himself right back up and helped with making up COVID food parcels with the Red Cross and then he decided he wanted to go back to the NHS. He loved his job. We were concerned about him being close to COVID, given his condition, in fact, I was terrified. But he wasn't scared. David remained out of hospital for two years after he took the new miracle drug, but he was not immune from infection. David Yule was working at Glasgow Royal Infirmary, Image, Daily Record. Most read. Princess Charlotte's sassy response when an aide tried to help her with a special gift. Putin left the Queen waiting for 14 minutes and she broke protocol to make snide remark. Elon Musk responds to Ukrainian plea for help by activating Starlink satellites. He was admitted to hospital in January but died from pneumonia just two days later. Catherine, who is the director of a baby food bank, added, he didn't want to go into hospital, but we nagged him to go in. He was admitted on the Monday and passed away on the Wednesday. He declined so quickly and it was really unexpected. He was an everyday hero. He was a people person. He gave us a hand with the baby food bank when we needed it. He loved working in the hospital, looking after people and talking to them. He could start a conversation in an empty room. He packed so much into life and he will be missed. His colleagues at the British Red Cross provided a guard of honor at his funeral. Anne Brogan who worked alongside him said, David was a very compassionate young man. He was so loving and caring, but he was also a bit mischievous who liked to laugh and did not take life too serious. He was a great volunteer for a few lucky charities including the Red Cross. He never let his illness define him. Rosemary Brogan, clinical services manager at the GRI, said, We're really sad to hear about David's passing. He was very well thought of and is remembered. Fondly be his colleagues. Read more. British Airways cancels 80 flights as Storm Eunice rips through UK. Read more. Boy, 6, dies after falling 33 feet down well despite 3-day rescue effort.